over here a really astounding little caterpillar. I wanted to show you my Waltheria caterpillars, but I found a little one here, and it seems to be eating silk or making silk, or I'm not sure what it's doing. But it's very, very minute. So minute, in fact, that I think it's to be probably only about... Oh, I can barely see it with my naked eye. It's less than a millimetre long. Isn't that cool? Less than one millimetre long. Ut utterly invisible to the naked eye, just about. All I can see is a little black head. That's very cool. And as Rebecca says, look at that blue. Yes, blue and gold and black spikes. Now, let's move to the other ones. I'm just going to shift this slightly. There they are. They're not very active this morning at all. They're not dead. You can see them all breathing, and I wonder if the time for them to pupate hasn't arrived already. I've been giving them many, many fresh Waltheria leaves on a daily basis. You can just see them sort of oozing about the place. And there are a couple of living ones. I wouldn't, well, they're all living, but I'll just show you. Sorry, I know this is a little bit disconcerting. Like this. Oops. There, this one is moving about the place. I don't know if they spin themselves cocoons. I suspect they probably don't. They may just pupate as they are. But this, you can see they definitely produce silk. That probably ties the leaf together and gives them a bit of protection. You know, what's quite interesting, and I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. Just come back here, Rebecca, a sec, if you don't mind. What they've done, oops, here, is they've... They've almost folded the leaf over themselves, and I wonder if they don't just use that as protection when they pupate. It could be well be what happens. They might just sort of pull the leaf over themselves, get inside there and pupate as they are. They'll be very tiny, slightly disappointing little moths if this is as big as they get. Anyway, that's what happens. And I would like to show you, only because David and Jandre are not in the tent with me, and um, Batman won't say anything until afterwards, but this is the lovely pink box that I keep them in. Isn't it nice? I'm not allowed to show my pink box normally. And so what I'm going to do is cover them in a brand new Waltheria leaf in case they're hungry, and then I'll put them on top of another one. And there we shall leave them in uh, comfort until the next time we are in the tent. Now,